If you or anyone you know that works for Uber Eats, DoorDash, or Postmates, please watch this video because you should never, ever work at these places, and here's why. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Matthew Long, and on this channel, all we talk about is making money, saving money, and how to better invest. I to see watch how this much video. I make in a week if I delivered for Uber Eats for 12 hours a day, seven days straight. I'm used to putting in about 60 hours, making about $1,500, but working 84 hours took it to another level. I worked from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. for each of the seven days. On average, I was driving 179 miles, making an average of $312 a day. I was also spending about $39 a day on gas, which leaves a daily profit of $273 before any long-term expenses. So let's run the numbers that we saw in that video. He's working from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so that's a 12-hour shift. So we know he's working for 12 hours a day, He's driving about 179 miles a day, and with gas, he's paying about $39. The one key ingredient that he's leaving out with these figures for that day total of $273 profit is depreciation. And that's the hidden cost with all of these driver services that a lot of drivers don't even comprehend or calculate in actual their totals. And the actual standard mileage deduction on your car, that's the wear and tear you're putting on your car to drive around either you're picking up food or you're picking up passengers that equates to 65 cents per mile so remember he's just driving 179 miles a day so we know he's driving 179 miles and if the standard mile deduction is 65 cents per mile that's a total of 116 dollars that's a subtraction of what he's making daily because you got to remember that's a hidden cost because your car doesn't last forever so that wear and tear that's got to come off your total or your bottom line. So now let's actually run the real math. All right, you ready for this now? He's making $312 a day. Now if we subtract $39 a day for gas and now $116 on the wear and tear or depreciation on his car, he's actually only making, on this 12-hour shift, $157 for the day. Now what does that come out for an hourly rate? $157 divided by a 12-hour shift from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., He's now making, get this, $13.08 for his time. So if you really think about it, all of the stress of driving around, making sure you don't have an accident, that you get a five-star rating, all of that stress for these small in-and-out jobs for 12 hours a day, he's only making $13 an hour for that. When in fact, if you actually think about it, you could actually have a much less stressful job working at as a cashier here in my home state of Arizona at McDonald's and you'd be making more at just $14 an hour and you're not driving all around town wearing your car out silly. But you want to know who's really making the money out of this Uber Eats and Uber and all these delivery services? Well heck, just check out Uber. You don't have to go too far, but look at the stock price in the last year. It's up 117%. So while these companies pay you less and less and less and want you to do more and more and more, just remember, you're not making yourself any more money you're only making the shareholders and the corporations that much richer. And I said it once and I'll say it again. I have no idea in these marketing or these advertisements for Uber or DoorDash why these drivers look so happy because they're not making any money. In fact, they're working for next to nothing and under minimum wage most of the time, all to make their corporation and shareholders richer and richer and richer. So if you ask my opinion, I would never, ever recommend anyone work for these companies. I thank you so much for watching my channel and, and supporting our videos. I really appreciate everything, you guys. I hope you got value out of today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one.